this is WWJ whipping with Joe. Anyway, uh, it's one of the one of the few days we got sunshine. Look at that. There's no clouds at all. Like woo, and then it's supposed to start raining tomorrow again. So anyway, we might have some time to do some whipping today. But I thought I'd make a video. I just got this one here, and uh, yesterday, this is a new Stratic C5000. Used one on the market or one used one. I don't know. I think it was cast. I cast 2019 or something like that. I get the out just smooth. Very sure. Anyway, this is nine ounces. Uh, six to one ratio. Forty inches per crank, and I put in 130 cranks of 40 pound casting cast rope. 40 pound test. Three. So there's 144 yards inside here. Not too much, that's for sure. But anyway, and then um, it's got 24 pounds of drag. So this will be basically my 15th Stratic. Stratic. So if you don't know what I have gone through, I've been through this. Will, by the way, this will be field test number 72. Again, I'm not sponsored by any manufacturer, real rod or lure maker. I do this on my own. Because I don't see no one on the web that's doing this. I fish it the way I do. My videos show you how I fish and how I maintain them. Basically just put plain water. After you finish you just spray it. And the reason why I do it is because it's wet. And so if you keep it dry then the, the salt becomes corrosively dry and then it's hard to get off. So it's best to you know, just spray it with a water gun uh, to get that salt, salt out because it's soluble. When you make it dry and then that's where you pose a problem but so this is reel number 72 like I said and I'm gonna show you this one here okay I started off with a 3k FI uh, I think probably 20 before 2012 maybe 2009 I went to one 3k FI 4k FI 3k CI4 the 4k CI4 then I went to the 5K FJ and I went to three of these. And the reason why I went to all three is because they're very good reels. So whenever it failed, I bought another one and sent it in for service. The other one failed and I sent it in for service. So then I ended up three. Anyway, the 5K was the first time I landed the GT actually no meal, a 22 pound no meal. I lost 13 earlier with these reels. Um, and then I switched over to the 5K after that. So on the 14th try, I landed my first Omilu, 22 pounds. Anyway, then I went to three 6Ks. <clears throat> three each, like I said, because I like them, but they failed. The 8K, I went to three of those, and they failed. The longest of all these reels was this one here, that 8K. It went, to seven, it went through 76 hours before failure. All these failed before 76 hours. This is the way I fish, like I said, probably because it was not watertight. Anyway, so um, I'm not sure about these now, you know, the only one I found out the best one for being watertight, of course, is the spheros. But anyway, and then I went to the FK, I mean the 5K, FK was a new new one. And now this is the FL, I guess. This is the, the newest model next to the K. They, they go in series. And then FI, the J, then the K, and the L. Uh, I love the ball. I, I love reels with ball. And, and the reason is because when I crank, I, I, I want to holding something. I, I don't want to hold a paddle because remember I pump, I'm, 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 pump, I'm popping or, or using lures that are two ounces and heavier. So it's very difficult to crank on a paddle. If it is all smooth, we'll see how long it lasts. But I like the, I, lo I love the line lay. And uh, the line lay is like, you know, it's impeccable lightly, I think. One of the better ones. And I like the way this is engrossed. I mean, it's like this is silver, like very, very nicely built. But I, I prefer black, actually, I guess. You know. But see these seals here. Very ingenious, actually. I think so. And I like these screw-on bodies. Screw-on type. Instead of the go-through types. But anyway, I, sure, I thought I'd share this with you. So this will be real number 72. And we'll see how long it goes. And hopefully I can land the GT before it fails. Anyway, again, this is WWJ. Whipping with Joe, the Stratic C5000 XG iCast 2019. By the way, 
these are over two hundred dollars. Like I said, you know, I've been through quite a bit of two hundred dollars. Actually, all these reels here on the island of Kauai were over one hundred fifty dollars from from here, from here, and down. These were all over two hundred dollars, by the way. This is Kauai's price. So, just want to show you. I said not sponsored by anybody. I do this on my own just to find out and I love testing of new gear. You know, I think it's fun. And again, WWJ whipping with Joe C5000 XG, real number 71. Aloha.